Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at the all-new Top FHD Touch Display and their new Bluetooth keyboard that they recently released to go along with the Pi Top 4. And when you combine all three of these accessories, I mean, you can have a pretty awesome little portable Raspberry Pi 4 set up for development, gaming, or basically anything you want to do with the Raspberry Pi 4. Now, if you're not familiar with the Pi Top 4, I've done a few videos on it, but real quick, we're just going to go over it. This is a fully integrated Raspberry Pi 4 case. We have a built-in battery, heatsink, cooling fan, this OLED display up top here, access to the GPIO pins, Ethernet, USB, and they also offer some accessories to snap on the bottom here so you can get development done really easy with different sensors and things like that. They offer two variants. You can pick up the do-it-yourself model. You will have to add your own Raspberry Pi, or you could pick up a fully built unit with a Raspberry Pi 4, 4 gigabyte model pre-installed, ready to go. Like I mentioned, I have made a couple videos on this unit. I will leave a link for those in the description. So let's go ahead and take a look at the display. What we have here is a 1080p 11.6 inch display that'll work over HDMI with the included adapter or the proprietary display connector on the Pi Top 4. So if you did want to use this with other single board computers or basically anything that outputs an HDMI signal, you can with that included adapter. Round back, we do have this kickstand. We have brightness control and a power button. And this stand here will actually allow us to attach the whole Pi Top 4 system to this unit here to kind of have a little all-in-one Linux machine. Like I mentioned, the resolution is 1080p, we have 10 points of touch, and when this is connected to the Pi Top 4, it's fully battery powered because we're using that built-in battery of the Pi Top 4 to power the screen and the Raspberry Pi 4. But it does come with this adapter, which has full-size HDMI, micro USB, USB Type-C, and a full-size USB port. So if you did want to plug anything else into this monitor, it will work with this adapter. And you'll just plug that right into the back of the kickstand here. The next thing we're going to be taking a look at is their new Bluetooth keyboard, and this really does go along with the screen really well. It will attach to the bottom of the screen using the built-in pogo pins, but if you want to use this completely wirelessly, you can. You'll charge it up over micro USB, or when it's docked to the screen itself, it'll start charging that battery. So we have a nice little keyboard and trackpad combo that we can add to this full setup. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this set up for the first time. Now this can be used without the Pi Top. We have this adapter included. It's going to plug right into the port on the back of the stand. But when you're using it this way, you will have to add power to the micro USB or the USB Type-C on this adapter to send power to the monitor itself. But when we're using it strictly with the Pi Top, all we need is this one cable here. And if you do end up getting a Pi Top, it will be included with the kit. You're just going to plug one in into the proprietary connector on the Pi Top 4. The other end is going to go right into the port on the back of the monitor. We'll switch the Pi Top on and it's going to send power to that monitor and video signal. Now the monitor itself doesn't have speakers built in because the Pi Top 4 has its own speaker built into the unit itself. Just give it a second to boot up here. And the way I have this set up right now is great if you want to do some development with the GPIO on the Pi Top. That way it's right beside you, you can access it, you got that one cable going to the screen itself. I'm going to go ahead and plug this keyboard in. It'll automatically connect, and it actually folds up to kind of protect the screen. So this is one way you can have it set up, that way you have easy access to the Pi Top 4 in case you need to access any of the ports or anything like that. But we also have the ability to attach the Pi Top 4 to the back of the monitor stand itself. That way we have a nice little all-in-one. So I'm going to go ahead and just unplug this cable here. I'm going to unplug it from the back just so I don't damage anything. But it's pretty nice the way they have this set up. So the Pi Top 4 will snap right to the back of the stand here. It would have been nice if they would have come up with something small. That way we could have just plugged it right in because those ports are right beside each other. So you will have to use this cable, but you can kind of fold it in here just to hide everything. So I'm just going to plug in both sides of the cable here. Give it a little fold. I'll attach that keyboard back on. And there we have it. A nice little portable Raspberry Pi 4, built-in battery, built-in speaker. It's got a cooling fan. you got an 11.6 inch 1080p touch display and this keyboard with a trackpad. So they definitely recommend using Pi Top OS with this, and that's what we're running here. It's tailor-made for the Pi Top 4. We have that battery indicator on screen and all the little bells and whistles that go along with the Pi Top itself. So as for the trackpad itself, it does work quite well with this operating system. 
we have left, right click, plus we have those touch gestures. It's definitely not a high-end trackpad or a high-end keyboard, but it feels pretty good and it'll definitely get you by with anything you need to do with the Raspberry Pi 4 or the Pi Top 4 here. Real quick, I'll just load up Google and I'll show you that we can scroll with the two-finger touch here. So it does have those multi-touch gestures built in. But when it comes down to it, this is a touch display, so we can always just use the touch screen itself. And there's a lot of different operating systems that do work with touch on the Raspberry Pi 4. So if you're not running Pi Top OS and you want to go with something like Raspberry Pi OS, just note that the touch screen will work with it. You won't need any drivers, but you will need USB connection. So yeah, I think this is a pretty cool concept. Uh, a couple things I would have loved to see changed is that U-shaped adapter included. That way we don't have to use that long cable to plug into the display and the Pi Top 4. And another big thing that I wish was changed up were these bezels. I mean, these are absolutely huge and there's a lot more space here where they could have put a bigger screen. So instead of an 11.6 inch, this could have probably been up to a 13 inch screen in this unit. So I'm going to head over to YouTube real quick and we'll check out the video quality here. Now I am filming in 4K and this video is in 4K so you might want to up that if you're using a monitor that supports it. Just so you can get the best picture out of it. But in real life, to the naked eye, the display is actually really sharp and it's got some great colors to it. And I think they've done a really good job with the touch functionality. I mean, it's dead on. I didn't have to calibrate anything. I'm sure there's a way to calibrate it. But as it sits right out of the box, I mean, it's very, very accurate. So we'll go ahead and get this loaded up. If you want to change the volume, you can do it from software or use the hotkeys on the keyboard. And for brightness, you can use the hotkeys on the keyboard or the dedicated buttons on the back of the monitor itself. They're right on that kickstand. We have power and brightness control. Now, even though the monitor is 1080p, if you mess around with the Raspberry Pi, you know it's really hard to play 60 FPS 1080p videos from YouTube. So I do have this set to 720p. Now I want to move over to a little bit of emulation on this device. When it comes to retro gaming on the Pi Top 4 with this new touch display, it works out really well. Here we have Dreamcast using ReDream. I'm set to the native resolution, but I have gone up to a 16x9 aspect ratio. And overall, I mean, this definitely works out well for retro gaming also. I'm just running the standalone version of ReDream inside of Pi Top OS, but if you really wanted to get down and do it, you could install RetroPie on this unit also. So in the end, I do think this is a great addition to the Pi Top 4. Now, I personally wouldn't pick this up if I don't own a Pi Top 4. I would go with a different monitor. But if I was looking into getting a touch monitor for the Pi Top 4 specifically, this is definitely the one I'd be thinking about, just because we already have that proprietary connector and everything fits together quite well. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Really appreciate you watching. Just wanted to give you a quick look at this cool little accessory for the Pi Top 4. If you're interested in learning more about this touch display, keyboard, or even the Pi Top 4, I will leave links in the description. And don't forget to check out my initial videos I did on the Pi Top 4 by itself. It's a great little unit, especially the do-it-yourself version. But that's it for this one. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.